guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my top tips on how to be an organized mum or an organized parent. If you're new, my name's Emily and I post three videos a week, mostly to do with parenting topics. If you like that kind of thing, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. But yes, today, as I said, we're talking about organization and I'm not going to pretend that I am always organized all of the time. I'm a busy mum of three and I work. So there are times when balls drop and things are forgotten. Yeah, but these are my top 10 tips that help me stay organized as a busy mum. Tip number one is online shopping. I do almost all of our food shopping online and it is incredible. Imagine going shopping with no children from the comfort of your own home. There's no one screaming for a Kinder Egg. It's incredible and it's guaranteed to save you time, money and calories. Right, so tip number two is to have a planning center in your house. In our kitchen, we have an area where we have our calendar so we can see the month in full view. Then we also have a board where we keep all of our meal planning for the week so everyone can see what's coming up for food that week. And then I also have a pin board where I put things like party invitations and random things I need to remember for school and just other little reminders. By having it all in one place, it's easy for us all to see what is going on. We can see what we're having for dinner that week. We can see what's coming up on the calendar and the little pin board reminders are also right there for us to see in full view. Another tip to keep up with party invitations is when you get a party invitation and you RSVP, I like to write on the invitation that I have responded. And while we're talking about parties, I also like to keep unisex birthday cards in the house. I bulk buy them and then I also do it for gifts. If I see something on offer that would be good for a birthday party like a Spider-Man figure or something for a girl, I keep them in our garage so I'm never running out of birthday presents or having a last minute dash to the shops. Yeah, but if I ever completely forget a birthday present or run out, money in a card is a great option. My next tip is to meal plan. Now I will link a video down below that I made completely just on meal planning. By meal planning weekly or fortnightly, it will greatly cut down on the amount that you spend and also the amount of food that you waste. I have a meal planning board in our kitchen, so on a Sunday night I will write the menu for the week so I can get organized. And there are weeks that I don't do this, but on those weeks I feel like I am forever running to the shops or just feeding the kids stuff out of the freezer, which I really don't want to do. Another big tip is to use your slow cooker or your crock pot, especially for working mums. You can wake up, just throw some stuff in and come home to a delicious smelling house and a lovely meal. Also, with meals, remember you don't always have to be super mum. There are a few nights a week when I put all of the boys to bed on my own. So it's literally three to one and by the end of it, I'm exhausted. So one of those nights a week, I make sure that we have a posh ready meal in. I get these homemade ones from our local farm shop and I love them. They're a tiny bit more expensive, but I can literally put it in the oven while I'm getting the boys to bed and then once they're down we have a lovely like lasagna or meal like that and there is barely any washing up it's still a home-cooked meal I also normally have wine on that night as well <laughs> My next tip is a big one, and that is to get everything ready the night before. And I always mention this in my evening routine videos, but it makes such a difference. And sometimes I just pull everything together while I'm making dinner, or I'll get the boys' uniforms ready while they're in the bath. You can kind of work it around things, but it makes such a difference if you just pile everything up for the next day. Football kits, uniforms, shoes, jackets, it's all there laid out, and you're ready to go in the morning. The next tip is to write lists, whether it be on your phone or actually on paper, whatever you prefer, write it all down. With three children, I find if I don't write things down straight away, I completely forget it. And there is something really satisfying about ticking off a list. Sometimes I like to write lists on my phone at the beginning of the day of things that I want to achieve or get done that day. And I also like to use the reminders app. And one really nice thing about it is that you can share it with family. So my husband and I have a list that we can share between each other. So if it's like get bread, get milk, someone can get it and then tick it off of the list and we don't even have to talk, we can just look at the list. The next tip is quite a new one for me and that is to get your children to help you. I think as mums of young children, we get in the habit of just picking up after them and just doing everything for them. It's almost easier and quicker sometimes. But my boys love to help out. So I go over the top with praise now. If they put something in the bin, I make them put their dirty washing into the laundry bin and help tidy up their toys. These are just small things but it's teaching them some good habits and also it does help you with managing the house. 
My next tip is the 10 minute tidy up. Have you ever noticed how you can completely blitz your whole house in 10 minutes if someone calls and says that they're coming for a surprise visit? It is incredible how much mums can get done in just 10 minutes. So sometimes I like to challenge myself, that might sound really sad, but sometimes if my baby is napping, I'm like, right, I've got 10 minutes to blitz my bedroom. And I just see how much I can do in 10 minutes and it's actually a lot. I hope my next tip doesn't make me sound gross, but wear clothes more than once. Don't just automatically wash things. If they're not dirty, don't wash them. Especially jeans, I leave them for days. If my eldest son's trousers for school aren't dirty, he wears them again the next day. Don't just automatically wash everything. As a family of five, we have so much laundry, so I had to cut down on how much we're washing. I wash our towels probably every three or so days, and I wash our bed sheets every one to two weeks. In the winter, it is more towards the two weeks because if you think about it we are putting our children to bed completely clean because they've just had a bath and we're putting them in clean pajamas in the bed so you don't have to wash it every single week I would almost wash pillowcases more often than the whole complete bed set my next tip that makes me stay so organized is to have a cleaner I always joke that when you become a mom you either need to lower your standards for cleanliness or hire help you can get a cleaner for about 60 pounds to come in and do a one-off spring clean do all of the jobs you hate like pull your couches out hoover and clean under them do your skirting boards dust your lights you can get one-off cleans like that so I used to treat myself to stuff like that but now that we have three children I have a cleaner that comes in once a week they actually do four hours between two of them so it's only two hours that they're here and it is 35 pounds a week it is so nice to know that once a week my house is going to be cleaned from top to bottom and I'm not spending all day Saturday or Sunday doing it I can spend those four hours that they clean for me and they're professionals they're way better than me um, I can spend that time actually playing with my children or tidying and organizing the house obviously this is at an expense but it is 35 pounds a week so personally I would rather not do things like get my nails done buy a new top I would much rather have that cleaning service because it makes such a difference my final tip is to break up big tasks throughout the week so as I said laundry is a big one for us so I just put on a load of laundry every morning and it's part of my routine then I'll tumble dry it every afternoon and put it away I find this much easier to do daily than to spend a whole day just concentrated on laundry and the same goes for if you wanted to do something like reorganize a room but you couldn't spend a whole dedicated day onto it you could just spend 15 minutes a day focus on reorganizing that room and then by the end of the week you will be amazed at how much you have actually got done right so that's it for this video I really hope you liked it please comment below if you have any other tips for organization because I am a crazy busy mum of three and I could do with all the help I can get but yes give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you very soon bye